their short list of midfield targets, it's clear to me that Liverpool are after two distinct and different profiles. One is a controller, somebody who dictates the tempo of the game and allows Liverpool to lionize possession in the mold of what Thiago offers. The other is a progressive destroyer, a player very skilled in breaking up the opposition's attacks, but also sparking Liverpool's, which is what Fabinho gave them. Now, for the latter profile, Liverpool have heavily pursued Romeo Lavia of Southampton. We reported on Sky Sports News yesterday that the Saints rejected an improved bid, the second one from Liverpool, to the tune of around £41 million, inclusive of add-ons. For Lavia, they want £50 million. The player wants the switch to Anfield. Liverpool wants a compromise over the price. So while that still rumbles on, I'm told the club are happy to walk away from that deal, explore other options, and they are looking at other midfielders. We know, as we reported on Sky Sports News as well, that they have made contact with Fluminense over Andrea. Now he fits the other profile of player. He is more of a controller. He profiles very similarly to Thiago. Fluminense, they are opposed to a summer exit. They prefer that he left in the winter, but talks are ongoing there. In an ideal scenario, Liverpool would get both those profiles over the line this summer, as well as recruit a defender. But ideal scenarios hardly ever happen in the transfer window. I am told that Liverpool are working on multiple solutions to give Jurgen Klopp exactly what he needs for the season ahead. What will be interesting to see is Jason Wilcox, Southampton's director of football. He's proven to be a very tough negotiator this summer. We've seen that with James Watt Prowse, for example. Whether he budges from that £50 million price point on Lavia. Southampton feel that they're within their rights to value him at that much. That's what Chelsea were willing to pay for the player last summer. And they feel that his ceiling is so high, he could become a world-class defensive midfielder. Liverpool feel that he's still too inexperienced to be paying such a high fee for him, while they do appreciate that he is going to become an elite anchor.